Hey friend, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to paint 10 of the cutest Easter themed illustrations with watercolor. We're doing bunnies, of course, we're doing eggs, we're doing flowers, but we're also doing some really fun things like carrots, little chickens, a rainbow, and all of these illustrations are really vibrant and super duper cute. I say cute like 50,000 times in the video. And so watch till the end too, because I'm we're doing a little contest on who can guess how many times I said the word cute because it was a lot. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Okay, so we're gonna be painting 10 cute Easter uh, illustrations. And I'm going to start with the bunny. We're gonna do a little egg-shaped bunny up here. Um, and we're gonna, similar to my Valentine's Day illustration video, we're gonna do some slightly different colors for our color palette. So I'm gonna have some light blush mixed with opera rose, a touch of scarlet lake, yellow ochre, and lemon yellow deep. I'm gonna do some Scarlet Lake mixed with cad cadmium orange for some darker hues that I'm gonna do on the bunny's face. And then for some of these other ones, I'm gonna have some like golden yellow colors, popping cobalt and turquoise is gonna be our color palette theme for this sheet of Easter paintings. So I've got my light blush mixed up. I'm adding a lot of water to it because I want it to be light. And then I'm going to dab excess water off on my paper towel first. Actually, maybe not. And I'm basically just going to paint in an oval shape or an egg shape for the bunny's bod. All over that. If it helps you to pencil in, really lightly pencil in the bunny's face first. You can do that and paint over it with your first layer, but just make sure it's super duper light so it won't show up underneath our details layer, which we're gonna do once this dries. Then I'm gonna grab his ears or her ears, we're not sure. I'm gonna blend this, so I'm gonna grab just water on my brush and dab off some excess water. So I'm not adding more water to my bunny. Okay, up next is a butterfly. I'm gonna snag some, a little touch of Prussian blue with cobalt blue for the body of the butterfly. We're gonna paint in this guy's little bod. It's like a long teardrop shape. And Instead of waiting for that to dry, I am going to use just water on my brush. So release all of the pigment from the blues and just use water to pull that blue so we can get a fun little bleed going into our wing. So for the wing, I'm just painting in a C curve and pulling it in. getting really, really light with it so that I can put some detail on top of it. Same thing on the other side. You don't need it to match perfectly. This is, you know, the overall direction here is cutesy, whimsical. So it's not precise and perfect. I 
and then we'll do maybe some turquoise. So I've got this manganese blue that's like very turquoisey. I'm gonna grab some of it and then lighten it with my brush. So it's just a wash color. These blades are fun. Welcome them with open arms. Open wings. Open wings. Yes, John. And we're gonna add details that will make these wings really pop once this base layer dries. Open wings. Next, we're gonna paint some carrots, still using the size six brush. I'm gonna grab some cadmium, cadmium orange and some opera rose and some water on my brush. Start with the top of the carrot. And then I'm gonna release that pigment from my brush and just use water on my brush to pull the rest down. We have a wet and wet video. Basics watercolor tech, basic watercolor techniques video that shows you the three methods for wet and wet painting. And so one of the methods that I'm using here is the pole method. It's my favorite. This is the poke when you poke in color while it's still wet. So if you need help with wet and wet painting, check out that video. I'm going to soak up some of that paint because I want this base layer to be dry. We're going to do little stripes on these carrots. So I'm going to have a carrot overlapping behind that. Same mish mixture, maybe a little bit lighter. Anytime you see your section that you're painting kind of pool up with too much water, like there's a puddle, make sure you dab your brush on your paper towel and then go back to painting because you don't want too much water. It's going to create hard lines and wonky mixing situations. Blend that with a slightly damp brush. Not too wet though. Carrots. And I am going to go right to the green part. So we're gonna do some sap green, some manganese blue, just a touch. Maybe a little more. And going to give it two thin lines. So I've got a vertical hold on my brush. So not slanted like this. I'm using the tip of the brush. So vertical hold. And then we're just going to, with little to no pressure, do these fun loopy leaf guys. Something different. You can do normal leaves if you want to. All right, so we're gonna wait for that to dry and add our lines. Then we're moving on to some Easter eggs. So similar to the candy hearts that I did in my Valentine's tutorial, um, we are gonna do some light pastel vibe color. So I wanna mix it up and maybe do a gold and yellow color for these. So I'm grabbing yellow ochre and a touch of lemon yellow deep. And then I'm gonna lighten it in my water cup and dab it on my paper towel so it's not too uh, puddly and wet. So first one is gonna be 
this yellow color. And then we're going to add darker details on top, like stripes or tiny little flower details. Fun Easter eggs. Then let's do like a soft mint color. So I've got manganese blue, some sap green underneath here. I'm going to grab some, just a very light touch of black. And then I'm going to add my mint egg going behind this guy. It's okay if they bleed together a touch. I think that's fun. Eggies. Next up. We've got a pitcher, oh, like a water pitcher, but we're gonna put flowers in it. And I'm gonna do a yellow pitcher. Actually, I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do yellow. Mm, yeah. So just a touch of yellow ochre, mostly lemon yellow deep. And something like that. Remember, we're just going for cute right now. So it doesn't have to be an exact science or perfect looking. We're going to have a nice big handle on this right side. For the handle, I'm just going to use the belly of my brush, so I've got a really slanted hold. I'm going to bring it around. When I use the belly, I can get a wider stroke instead of using the tip, which would just give me a really thin stroke, like what we did for the stems. Okay, so there's our picture. Then I'm going to swap to my size smaller brush, as John would say my size two brush for my flowers. I'm gonna paint in some stems. So let's do some sap green with lemon yellow deep. Maybe some lighter greens. like so, and then same brush, peachy color that I mixed up for the bunny. And we're just going to use about a 35 to 45 degree hold on our brush and just point towards the stem and push down for our petals. And do these star-shaped flowers. For some of them, I might do a darker red, like a, a Scarlet Lake and Cadmium Orange mixture, just to mix it up. We're gonna do dark blue dots in the center of these flowers. It's gonna be really cute once these petals dry. So 
So just alternating between my light peachy color and some Scarlet Lake with cadmium orange and some of those Scarlet Lake cadmium or orange mixtures have more orange, some of them have more red. So we're getting variety here. Did you have any fun Easter traditions growing up? My family's not really a traditions family. You should know this, John. I'm just making banter for the fans. Oh. Fanter. <laughs> All right, so our next one, we're gonna wait for this to dry. We're gonna add our dark blue dots and maybe dark blue dots on the pot too, or the pitcher. Um, next one, we're gonna paint a little, little chicken. Not sure why. I think Easter might have chicks. chickens. Chicks. Well, I have chicks down here too, I'm gonna do. Chicken's cool too. Chicken. But this is gonna be a fun chicken. It's gonna be like a light blue chicken with dark blue details. So fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab cobalt blue and manganese. And then I'm gonna lighten that with my brush in the water cup. And we're gonna make this like teardrop shape with the chicken's body for our first layer. And then I'm going to grab my size two and paint in his legs for now um, with Prussian blue and a touch of cobalt blue. And we're just going to barely touch because that's fun. Just using a slanted hold on my size two brush for these little feetsies. Cute. We'll add the rest later once that dries. Now let's do a proper chick, like one of those peeps chicks. So yellow, maybe a touch of yellow ochre. We're gonna do a nice circle head. So start with your circle. Again, nothing is perfect and precise. Going for cute here. Going for Dr. Seuss vibe. Not obviously his exact style, but you get the point. So we got some yellow peeps. So the body is similar to this chicken we just did, but we added a little circle on top for the head. Little baby chick. Gonna wait for that to dry to add detail. And then I'm gonna come down here and do a different type of chick because why not? And it's gonna be cobalt blue and Prussian blue. We're gonna do that same body shape and we're just gonna do the outline. And then we're gonna come over here for one of his point, uh, tail parts. And tail then parts tail parts and then loop. <laughs> cute, cute. And maybe grab some more Prussian blue to darken this part. And maybe that part so we've got some like ombre action happening while it's still wet. Then we can paint in the beak. This one's gonna be done in one layer. We're not gonna come back to this one. A little eyelid, and then the wing will be a heart. 
loop. Loop. Cute. Right? Be cute. Cute and so simple. Now we're gonna do some lettering and I've got a size six flat brush, flat shader. This is a Velvet Touch series brush because I don't have a Heritage series flat brush. Um, and for our letters, we're just going to be having a slanted hold. So about 45 degrees away from the paper with your brush and we won't be applying pressure. I want these uh, letters to be the same width as this brush. If I were to apply pressure, it would get fatter. So I'm gonna alternate colors with every letter and we're just gonna do a fun little printed style, but similar to how you sign paint, um, I'll show you once we get to our A, we're gonna write Happy Easter. So I'm gonna use my slanted hold and with little to no pressure, just bring it down. So this is Scarlet Lake with a touch of cadmium orange. So every stroke is the same width, the across strokes and the down strokes and the up strokes. Let's get that a little longer. And then for my A, let's do this minty color. So for an O shaped letter, like our letter A, we start with an O first in the letter A. We're going to I'm going to do a bouncy letter. So the A is going to come down here. We're going to go straight into a U shape first and then release that pressure. So we're not changing the angle of our brush. So I'm making sure the flat part of the brush is pointing the same direction the whole time. So we're coming down and then across. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Let's start across. So the other side is a downstroke. You can also go over that with a side stroke where the width of the brush changes a 90 degree angle. And then we're going to do our, that's a huge A, but it's okay. We can go up here closer to the opening of the A. And then we can make our H a little bigger. I wish I had a, a smaller brush for this because we could do these little littler letters, but this is what we got at the house. Now let's maybe do some yellow for our P, our first P. So down stroke a little longer. Then we're gonna come around like that. P, curve down, switch the angle of your brush for the down stroke, and then switch the angle of your brush again. I'll do it one more time for the other piece so you can watch closely. So now I'm going to do Opera Rose, a really light version. So a lot of water on my brush, not a lot of water on my brush, but release the Opera Rose off of my brush and my water cup and make sure you dab so you don't puddle. So straight down stroke. The, what is this? The flat part of the brush is now pointing this way. So instead of this way, it's now this way until I start to curve down. When I start to curve down, I flip it 90 degrees for my down stroke. And then I flip it 90 degrees again until I start to curve up. So it's all the same width. Any recs for people who don't have this brush? Um, you can still do lettering with a round brush. It's just not going to be as clean, but you would just get the width of the belly of the brush. I would use a size two, um, a size two brush and just use that as your, as your flat brush, but it's, it's just going to be a little chunky, which is a look and that's totally fine. 
So next letter, I'm going to do a light cobalt blue. So grabbing some cobalt and then releasing a lot of it off of my brush in the water cup for our Y. That was accidentally cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do Prussian blue for our E. We're going to come down here. We're going to do a lowercase E. Show you. So start with the U shape, curve in, and then add that, and then clean it up. Let's see. Orange with maybe a yellow orange. Cadmium orange and lemon yellow deep. I'm going to do a capital A since these are right below each other. Let's just mix it up. Pink. I still have that yellow on my brush. For now we're going to do pink. So S's are really difficult for people. So we're going to start with the thin edge of my flat brush for the top of the curve and then bring it down and then do the same thing like we did at the top. So we're using the thin part and then we're going to the belly of the brush as we bring it down to the thin part again. And then we're going to bring this down with a down stroke like so. Let's do yellow green, turquoisey yellow green. We're going to overlap some of this P in the T. Easters. You could also do Happy Easter. Oh, yes, you could. I thought that's where you were going at first. Creative. Another E. Let's do a bright pink. I've got Opera Rose on my brush. A cross stroke first. Then starting a little bit higher than that, a cross stroke for a down stroke. And then curve in, kind of like how we do with the S and overlap that. Easter. Play the screen again. Or no, let's just do bright turquoise. Because it's yummy. I'm gonna do a capital R, I guess. <laughs> I got really long. <laughs> no turning back now. Uh, so for the downstroke, it's obviously like that. Then we're gonna go to the top of that downstroke and face our brush perpendicular to what it was for the uh, downstroke. Bring it until we start to curve. And overlap that with our brush flipped the other way. Flip it again. Boom. Boom. Happy Easter. Very cute. Super duper cute. Um, okay. And then our last one, we're going to use the flat brush again. You can use the belly of a round brush if you don't have a flat brush, but we're going to use 
the this color scheme for a big old rainbow, just a long skinny rainbow right here. So I'm gonna do Scarlet Lake mixed with cadmium orange for my first stroke. So I'm gonna use my arm because if you're using your fingers, you're gonna not be able to go as long as I am. Um, and you'll just be more steady if you use your arm. So we're gonna start here. And just bring it down. And we can clean up our strokes with water and going back over it while it's still a little wet. Now let's do some turquoise. You can also do this where you have two separate strokes. And if they touch, totally fine. I think it's extra cute. And you can use the polling method with wet and wet to give it this gradient look if you like. Let's do yellow next. that yellow and turquoise touch. So there's a little bleed happening, which is super cute. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, <laughs> Prussian blue is next. Just trying to squeeze it in there. And I'm gonna use just the edge of the brush for Opera Rose as our last little arch. This might be a bad idea, but just do a line if you only have this much space. There, cute. Cute. <laughs> All right, so now that we did that, our other babies are dry and ready for their details. This is so colorful already, so cute. Okay, so for our buns, we're going to do uh, our reddish orange color for detail and our dark blue color for detail. So I'm going to start with the reddish orange, so Scarlet Lake and Cadmium Orange. And for the ears, I'm just going to make them look a little fluffy on the inside. So we're just going to use our size 2 brush and add these little curlies. <laughs> Cute. Uh, and I want that same color for cheeks, but I'm going to come back to that once I have my nose down so I know where to put the cheeks. So we're going to grab Prussian Blue, a thick mixture so it's not too wet. So make sure to dab any excess water off on your paper towel. And little lids for his eyes. And in between that, we're going to do more of an arched C curve to these little J's oh. buns. Are you sleeping? Yeah. Hmm. And he has little chubby arms. Cute. <laughs> and then back to our reddish orange color for his cheeks. So go right across from the nose mouth area for these circles. Kind of want it to be lighter than that. So I'm going to wash off that pigment and dry my brush off completely. And lift it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
cheeks and now whiskers cute very cute um, bonus points for anyone who comments how many times Jenna said cute in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Let's add details to our butterfly. So I'm going to do some opera rose for, I'm just going to outline this lighter, um, not petal. What is this? Wing. <laughs> wing with some bright pink. So I'm using my size two at about a 45 degree angle. And with little to no pressure, just kind of bringing it right along the edge. And then this bottom wing is going to overlap this top one. So I'm just going to stop right about here. Like so and do the other side. that I switched my magic. I knew you did that on purpose. All right, let's do some dark blue for my bottom wing. So we're gonna grab Prussian blue on our size two brush and do this little circle-y do at the bottom of the wing. And then I'm gonna point towards the tip of this teardrop shape wing and use little to no pressure for a line, 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 and then outline that. Can I share a fun fact? Yes. Okay. Although I'm a little sad, Jesus bursting out of an empty tomb didn't make the cut for this video. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the butterfly is a symbol for the resurrection. Well, there you go. If you guys are religious, the butterfly is a symbol for the resurrection. I'm pretty We're pretty sure. sure. Don't quote me, but I'm like... Not positivo, but... If you're bummed that Jesus didn't make the cut or a cross or something, we got yourself a butterfly. I'm about 84% sure. That's pretty high. That's pretty high. Jesus blasting out of a tomb would have been sick though. <laughs> <laughs> like parading out. <laughs> Maybe not very simple. No. 
It would definitely not go with our theme. Should I paint Jesus like this? <laughs> <laughs> now we're grabbing Scarlet Lake, some Opera Rose, some orange. We're gonna do a little circly do here too. Circly do. Other side, circly do. So I'm just using the tip of my brush and swirling it around with my fingers. And then, I don't know, some lines. Ooh, some dotted lines. Mm -hmm. Boink. And let's add some yellow. Lemon yellow deep, lemon, lemon yellow deep. Did you just write that? I did. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Boink. Boink. Oh, this little baby needs antennas. Prussian blue it is. Tip of the brush. Here you go. Isn't he cute? Very cute. And then I'm gonna use the same Prussian blue color for some stripies down his back. Boom, we got ourselves a butterfly, folks. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, next, we're gonna add our lines, stripies, to the carrots, so I'm grabbing a lot of Scarlet Lake and Cadmium Orange for a really thick mixture so that it's more opaque and stands out on top of these carrots. So the thicker or more paint to water ratio you have, the more opaque it's going to be. And then I'm gonna use a vertical hold so that I can just bring some stripies, thin strokes. carrots. Now it's time for eggies. I say eggies to my son every morning. Do you want some eggies? So he calls eggs eggies. So opera rose and a touch of, um, what's this? Cadmium orange is what I'm feeling for the, for the yellow egg. You do you boo. If you want to do blue, you can do blue. There's no real, obviously, science to this. Whoops. I'm gonna have to fix that because I smudged. You know what that's about, John. It's all about that. Um, I think I'm just gonna do like two stripes on the top. Still using my size two brush. Two stripes on the bottom. And then like a flower or three. So this flower is in the curve. It's cut off right there. It actually looks like it's curved. As sorry, it I'm sorry, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Top of this flower is cut off. And so is the bottom. You're breathing very loud, just so you know. Sorry, I'm just really in the zone watching this. <laughs> I went into full mouth breathe mode. Yeah, you're mouth breathing for sure. I was very into that flower. 
So there's our curved flower, eggy. Um, I'm going to do Prussian blue for the details on this one. Maybe we just do like stripes or you can do a leaf pattern. Let's try a leaf pattern. Just going to go boink, boink. Similar technique to sprinkles on donut. Mm. Yes, John. You're familiar with that one too. Mm -hmm. There we go. Random spiky looking egg. <laughs> um, <laughs> then I'm going to use Prussian blue for my flower pot. We're going to do a little dot in the center of each flower. Use the tip of the brush. You dot 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 the center of the flowers. Mm -hmm. That was a great song. Thank you. Fantastic. Thanks. You're welcome. Should we add dots to the pop the picture? I kind of like the pot how it is. Okay. I hope your viewers aren't like. Well, they can add dots for their own pot. Mm. Dots for your pot. Okay, now we're doing do we're doing Prussian blue for this little birdie. He's got an eyeball somewhere right there. Ah. <laughs> Just surprised yourself. Yeah, it's like super raised. You can do an outline like that, which I think is cute, or you can fill it in. And then the tip of the brush, we're gonna do this. Kind of like how we did the bunny's ears. He's got a little fluff on top and a little fluff on his booty. Booty fluff. <laughs> then for this chick. Wait, you do a wing? Oh yeah, a wing, duh. Thanks, John. We're gonna do feather fluff. Wing. And feather fluff. Booyah, kasha. So then for this chicky peep thing down here, we're gonna do opera rose. And a touch of cadmium orange. And give this guy two eyes. A beak. A fluffy. And a wing. little tiny feet. Tiny feet. Those are the tiniest feet. Let's <laughs> make it cuter, make them chubbier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so small feet. Chubby chick. Okay, so now if you smudged because you're working, you know, back and forth a lot, like I did this smudge down here with my rainbow, we're just gonna overlap it. So we smudged our blue. Just a tad. And that's okay. Let's clean it up, guys. Clean that sucker up. You can also add water to the smudge if there's color on top, water, and then dab it up with a paper towel. But I'm just gonna get a really thick amount of yellow on my brush. And overlap it. But you gotta overlap the whole arch. There we go. All better. All right. 
there's our Easter fun, 10 cute fun illustrations tutorial. So cute. Make these into greeting cards, make these into... Could be a fun little Easter afternoon painting. With Could be a very fun afternoon to spend on Easter with your fam. Very good idea, John. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hope you had fun with that tutorial. If you're, you know, you've got kids around or you're with your significant other or your cats or your dogs, families over, whatever, uh, and you're painting this, this could be fun to do for the whole family or get some friends together and do this. It's just such a fun tutor tutorial to do on Easter and make it a little tradition now. Um, could be a really fun afternoon activity with family and friends to paint some Easter cute illustrations. Cute, cute, cute. Let me know in the comments below how many times you think I said the word cute, including this one right now. Cute. And also let me know which of the 10 illustrations was your favorite to paint. Uh, drop that in the comments below along with your guess and we'll root for you and cheer you on if you win. <laughs> See you in the next tutorial.